Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. So I'm going to be breaking down all the setups today that occurred in the S&P 500. We're going to be looking at um, all of my systems. I'm very, very happy that my systems have been performing very, very well so far this year. And um, every single one produced a winner today. And I'm going to be walking you guys through that. And I'm going to give you some tips on how you can read the market. Okay. So the first thing is we need to draw the previous day's high and low every day before we come to the market. So I have Friday's low and high uh, marked and then the next thing is we have to ask ourselves where are we opening while well, we were opening um, inside of the previous day's range and whenever we open inside of the previous day's range my bias is that we're going to be trapped within this range okay so we're not going to break the low we're not going to break the high unless that happens within the first 30 40 minutes of the day so basically um, what my first play on the day was is I saw that we were consolidating here and we are not able to break this low so once um, that happened I was under the assumption here that this is going to be a range bound day, meaning the, the low of the day could already be here. And by using my limit order system, I was able to get in right on the 786 here um, and get uh, a two to three R um, target, depending on how you scale out. So we're able to get involved right here. If you're using the candlesticks, what you can do is you can just take the breakout of this bear bar, put a stop right below, and then that's easily two um three r very very simply so as i recommend to all my students everyone that works with me scale out on the way up you know don't get greedy okay so that was the first setup um and then the second setup was because we potentially had this long position on already i was looking for a short play so i was looking for a way to hedge myself and um, i used the inside bars uh, to give me an edge on that so um, from my inside bar system we had this five minute inside bar doji right at the top of the range and um, I took this one short right here, and this was an easy, easy, easy 3R. So just taking a short right there, stop above the high. So at the very low, it was uh, a 6R return. But for me, when I do the inside bars, I try to be very mechanical based on all my back testing and results. So I just took it off for 3R, and that was a very, very easy trade. So, so far, we had that one long winner from the, ins uh, from the limit system. We had the short winner from the inside bar system. And then the next thing that we had is we have the FIB. So those that have a copy of my book, you know, we call this the um, morning Fibonacci leg, okay? So this is the morning Fibonacci leg where we had about the first hour developed and then we take the Fibonacci from the range and then we look for place. So here we had a nice 618 purchase right here. Um, and depending on if you use a limit order, or if you use a candlestick, um, you easily get at least two R on this trade. So this was such a beautiful trade straight from my book. Um, and then the last thing that happened is the we had the reversal. So the reversal was a strategy that I gave for free to everybody. Um, I have it on YouTube and I have we did a webinar for over 50 minutes on it last time. So, you know, I give things for free um, because I, I want to show you guys that I'm the real deal. OK, no one's going to call this top in the market except for me, because I know what I'm doing. I've been trading and testing and putting my heart and soul into this game for a very long time. So from the reversal system. So you can watch a YouTube video if you if you haven't seen it before, but you know that we're looking for areas of reversal in this zone 272, 382 and the 10%, we're looking for reversal here. And the reason why is because any Fibonacci um, algorithm that purchased at the 618, they're gonna be dumping their positions at the measured move. So this is the measured move reversal. So going in with a short on the 272 stop above the 50, that was easily 3R and um, it was just a very, very simple trade. As long the first time we got in, there was basically no adverse exposure. It just went your way. So I hope that you guys are gaining value from that. And here I bookmark on Twitter here. These are all of the free strategies that I, I gave you guys. The opening range breakout. I gave you the basics of the inside bar and I have my own variation. I gave you a lot of setups with fibs, candlesticks, and the reversal, all completely free. Nobody here on Twitter is giving that stuff for free. Everybody's hindsight. But if you followed me and if you watch the reversal training that I give, you know that this is a setup that we take all the time. And it's just a matter of you looking for the knowledge because it's there. All right. So please um, show me some support. There's no one on Twitter or, or even on YouTube that's giving you legitimately back tested strategies that they put their, their ass on the line for. Okay. And um, I really hope that you guys learn some. And just to summarize, we had this um, 786 initial buy it was opening within the range so we're expecting that we're going to stay range bound then we had this inside bar short we had the 618 leg and then we had the 272 reversal so the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to share um, the results of my system so far so right now i'm running five systems 
We have the limit system, the five minute inside, 15 minute inside fibs, and then the reversal trading. So I have to update the reversal there. So I'm put that one in there. Okay. So yeah, so we had um, basically, if you look at the win rates here on all the systems here, they're only about 50% win rate. The fibs have been a little bit better, um, but it's only been about a 50% win rate guys. So the, sorry, I put that in the wrong column. Sorry, the three is there. So basically overall, even with a 50% win rate, look at the potential R's we're generating. Okay. So last week we had um, a total of one R on the limit, four R on the five minute bars, two R on the 15, one and a half on the fibs. We add that up. That's eight and a half. And then this week so far, it was, it's all been winners and it was a 13.5 R day, 13.5. So let me translate that to you guys so that you can understand. Okay. So your R is between one to 2% of your account. Okay. So let's say for purposes here that you're going to risk a thousand dollars per trade. Okay. If you're risking a thousand dollars per trade so far for January, we're going to add up these R's. So we're going to take 8.5 plus 13.5 and we're going to multiply by a thousand. Okay. That's the potential $22,000 within the first week of January, basically at the first week plus one day, that's the potential. And it's all managed risk accordingly. And as you can see, the win rate is not something amazing. There are losers. Look, there's losers here. There's losers, there's losers, there's losers, but it's about grit and consistency. That's what keeps you in this game and having positive risk to reward. If you look at all my risk to reward, it's at least two and a half um, or, or minimum I do is two. So that way I don't need to win as often to actually make a profit. Okay. So thanks for joining me. And, um, if you don't have a system and you need something and you're tired of losing money, then DM me, check out my website. If you don't have a, a system and you're in the market, you're just gambling. You might as well take your money and go to Las Vegas and have a good time because you're not going to have a good time in the market. All right. So hit me up if you need help. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.